Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ansem Air Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 11. And you can see I can reach E4430 Infinity Points. This is enough for three times theorems with Infinity Points. And one, two, is it possible to get three? Let's see. Yep, three, maybe even four. Uh, not just, just three. But actually, I'm getting even more orders of magnitude and infinity points than I thought. Probably because there's replicated galaxies recently. So, that's actually really nice. So, six more time theorems. It's not that much, but it might make, it might make a difference for like something like a tourney challenge two or three. I don't know. I think, at this point, I can get a maxed out study tree and still do a tourney challenge one. I actually might do this right after... I eternity here because it seems like it seems pretty good and I can get all the way up to e4500 infinity points and th this run I'm gonna be able to get e880,000 antimatter so it's just two more time theorems which will help I'm also gonna eventually try to go for attorney challenge four which is the brutal infinity one which means I need to infinity grind yay at least I can grind banked infinities instead of grind every time I want to attempt a turning challenge 4. So I'm not going to enter the challenge right away because that doesn't give eternity points for some odd reason. It's part of the reason why I didn't really like eternity challenges very much, but maybe I'm growing, growing into them. And well, I thought I was able to get this. I thought this was 2.5 E19, but nope, it's 5 E19. So that's, I guess, slightly annoying, but not that bad. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go into attorney challenge one and attempt it. It should be pretty easy. Actually, no wait. Attorney challenge one, time dimension disable. What am what am I thinking? I was I was confusing one for two again, so I don't really I don't really need to do that. Instead, I could buy a bunch of time dimension things. Maybe go for like something like attorney challenge two times two two second time. So like and get one, two, three, four, five, six upgrades. Maybe that was a little bit much. But if I want to go for like attorney challenge two, that might be really what I need. So let's go infinity dimension path. Let's go active so I don't need to wait. Get this, this. I need to get the stupid requirement because those exist. Actually, while I'm waiting for this requirement, I can think of what time theorems like I can get. Actually, no, this this is my bill for attorney challenge one. What am I doing? I'm I keep mixing up these two and it's driving me crazy. Well, anyway, I can change the plans. We're gonna I'm gonna fully deck out the study tree, go into attorney challenge one instead of attorney challenge two, and complete it, hopefully. So it looks like I'm going to be able to beat this challenge, not by that much of a margin, but actually no, it looks like a pretty large margin actually. I'm not really sure if I could do this a fourth time, that that would be pretty greedy if I tried to do that. But yeah, there we, there we go. E2222, infinity points, complete the challenge. So now I will go for attorney challenge two second time. So here I actually have to go time dimension path. So let's, let's get this, active, um, get this, don't get 162, um, just get, I want, I want to get this, so let, let's, let's see. So I have to, I have to plan this out. I, I don't want to get 162 because it's useless when infinity dimensions are disabled. I already got this, so I guess I can just go everything here and still have enough time theorems to get, to get everything I want before Eternity Challenge 2. So let, let's see, we're, we're so close. It's just, I know these requirements are so annoying. But here we go, 1450, take speed upgrades. So now, now we can do this. I need E1150 infinity points. It really shouldn't be that bad. I think I'm already up to E800 and it's probably because replicated galaxies are being pretty slow. I'm getting one a second, so this isn't that bad at this point. But once I get more infinity points, it'll be even quicker. So E E nine hundred and fifty, E nine sixty. Now I'm getting 
13, more, not 13, 1.3 replicated galaxies per second, and I keep half of what I previously had. So this puts me at E1035 infinity points. So this actually isn't very encouraging because I need E1150. E1073, hmm. It's two replicated galaxies there, so that could help a lot, but this isn't very promising. Is It's not really anything I can do to speed it up at this point. Like, I time theorems are useless because I, I kind of maxed everything out at this point, and I already bought all the time dimension things I could. There's nothing I can do with, like, eternity upgrades. And E1120, yeah, this is this is not looking very good. Next replicated galaxy is at E1170. So I think I'm just going to fall just shy of this goal. So this is the first fail the turning challenge. I, I thought I could definitely do this, but no. It just it looks just out of reach. So maybe this is the time where instead of doing attorney challenges, I need to grind infinities, which I hate this. So if I want to grind infinities, I absolutely need time study 32. And I probably want something quick. So I'm going to want infinity dimensions instead of time dimensions. Like, I'm not really sure what I what this really does, but um, I don't think it really does anything. Maybe someone in the comments will help me with this. So, I guess I, time theorems really isn't a concern. It's more about which path do I pick. And it's probably better just to go like, you know, like this. Because it's based on dimension boosts. I want as many dimension boosts as possible. I'm probably going to go active because I don't need to hold down R. And this really isn't what I want. Although I could go idle if I want to get... It's more like you gain more eternity points because I'm going to be in the same eternity for a while. So actually, I want to go idle. Because I'm I'm just going to be in the same eternity for like hours. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm still going to go with infinity dimensions. Because I think it's slightly better if I want to get dimension boosts. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not right here, but... Let's go idle, let's get all of this, and the main thing here is I want to change my infinity dimension, not infinity dimension, infinity or big crunch auto buyer to seconds between crunches, and I want it not to be 1, I want it to be 5.00001, and this is because of the achievement that Infinities longer than 5 seconds give 250 times more infinities. So, this is basically all I'm going for. I just I just want infinities. And this also should be al allowing me to get something like, if I go to Eternity Milestones, I can do, I can get this. While offline gain infinities equal to 50% of your best infinities per hour. So you can see, if I go to statistics, I'm gaining, it looks like, it looks like it's giving me an estimate of how many banked infinities it's giving me. So it looks like it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 90,000 a minute, maybe even a little bit more. It does seem to be going up, so maybe 100,000 per minute. So that's, that's pretty good. So it's like 600, six million per hour but that's actually that sucks if it's only six million per hour that's that's not very good because that means if i want to get 300 million to unlock infinity challenge or last time which i do want to do it will take me 50 hours of infinity grinding like i i know that like Infinity grinding gets a little better later on, but just, yeah, it's brutal. Even, even with the 50% offline boost, like, that's either four days offline, or if I am online, it's something like one and a half days. I don't want to be waiting this long. 
I mean, okay, this, this is going up, so now it's 120k per minute. It's just because it started lower, but yeah, it's brutal. So, it's just, it's un unfortunately, it's something I need to do, and it's some, I don't know how, when I'm going to be able to skip this part. Maybe there's something in reality that will do this. There is, yeah, there is something. You gain five times more than these. But until then, it's something I have to deal with. And I feel like next reality, I'm going to want to go for something like you gain dilated time faster and you gain more tachyon particles because I am going to be cursing the, the time dilation part of this reality. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to be waiting for a while. See it in a long while. Okay, it's been like an entire day, and I've only up to 44 million banked infinities. This is not great. I mean, 44 million plus the 10 million I already have. But even with that, I'm only halfway to this. And I don't even have enough time theorems to actually do it now. I do have 880 million infinities. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to get banked infinities and be okay with my current infinities. Because I, I do have a decent amount of them, but I want more banked infinities. I really want 300 million. It can't be that bad. But maybe I just, like, I think I'll wait a little bit longer, but I don't want to just be grinding infinities all day long when I could actually be progressing. So, yeah, there's really not much I can do here. The infinity thing is three reality machines. I'm not sure if that's worth it, especially with how bad dial at the time is going to be later on. So, yeah, see you in another long while. Well, it's been another day since last recording, and I don't think the Eternity Milestone is working because I should be getting one E8 per hour. It's been, you can actually see how long I've been in this Eternity run. I've been in it for 27 hours, and I've gained about 1 billion in affinities. I should have gained 2.7 times as much. So yeah, this really, really, really sucks. And yes, I do have enough affinities to unlock Attorney Challenge 4. However, I don't have enough time studies to unlock Attorney Challenge 4, so that's kind of useless. And even with this banked affinities, I'm still not going to have enough Banked infinities to get to Eternity Challenge, Eternity Challenge 4. I'll have 60 million. So, I I don't know. I really don't want to do this infinity grinding. It really, really sucks. And there's something else that is beckoning me. And this is Time City 123. It's been long enough that this multiplier is now like seven times as good as the best multiplier you can get from 121. And that makes me want to do an Eternity Point run. Which means I want to disable my crunch auto buyer. Um, not go to automation, or not go to the automator. Just just disable this, and I want to see just how far I can get with my infinity points, attorney points, and all and all that. And you can see it can already gain three e nineteen attorney points, even though I like I don't I don't think I've I've really gotten this much even before. So. The one issue with doing an idle run instead of an active run is time study 143, which takes a few minutes to become better than 141. And, I mean, I could just, you know, keep doing this, but it kind of sucks. And rather, you know, just do it as quick as possible. I am. The one good thing, though, is that since the nerf from time study 133 has been removed that means that it's actually quicker than going active which means that ironically maybe when things are going a little faster and it's really just those replicated galaxies that are slowing me down going the idle path will actually be better if i want to do things quickly which is kind of weird so I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get any more time theorems with antimatter, antimatter and infinity points here. Because it looks like I'm not going to be able to get much more than E4400 infinity points. Unless I just 
wait for a super long time and getting to 40 e46 if, maybe if i need only need to get to e4500 i might consider waiting but i don't really it looks like i'm not really going to be able to do that so i'm just going to gain my e20 eternity points and maybe respect the time study tree so that maybe i can actually try going into an eternity challenge four for once so yeah <laughs> E20 eternity points, I can get this, and then I can get a few time dimension, only two time dimension upgrades, that's disappointing. I guess I can get a few time theorems as well, so, let's see, I'm, I'm just going to do this, I'm going to try to get to eternity challenge for as much as possible, so, I have 13 spare time theorems. So, I probably want to get 151, that's pretty good. Can I afford... I looks like I can, can just afford this. And that is the, the most I can get for Eternity Challenge 4. And now I need to do the painful act of grinding infinity points. Not infinity points, what am I saying? Infinities! Infinity points isn't too bad, because it's pretty easy just to, like go up get up there pretty quickly but i need to grind infinities again so i can get to 100 million i mean it's only 40 million infinities i need to grind so it isn't quite as bad but it's still not really what i want because it still takes i was getting maybe i'm not even sure what i was getting actually i think it was something like 250,000 every five seconds maybe a little bit more so, like, that's maybe 55,000 per second. I still need to get 40 million. That's still going to take 15 minutes, which really isn't ideal for just to, to get to the, just, just to get to this challenge, which is, yeah, this is why I don't like this infinity grinding. But anyway, I'm going to turn this on and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's been, yeah, almost 20 minutes in this eternity, and I finally just now have enough infinities to be able to unlock Eternity Challenge 4. Finally. Oh my god. And this is the all infinity dimension multipliers and generators are disabled, and you, the goal must be reached within a certain number of infinities or else you will fail the challenge. So we should probably disable the infinity auto buyer at this point. So... Now let's go, yeah, let's, let's, let's end, end do the challenge. And this hopefully shouldn't be too bad. So I do want to limit the amount of crunches, but I think the first few can happen relatively quickly because I'm, for the first completion of Eternity Challenge 4, I am allowed 16 infinities. I've done two. So let's, let's just do the third. I, I like the, the 16 infinities really isn't that bad. It's only when, like, later part, later iterations of the challenge come where you have to do, like, eight infinities. So you can see how much I've used the infinities. So the goal is E2750 infinity points. This really shouldn't be too bad. I I will, I will at this point, grind all the way to the max replicated galaxies because it's pretty quick to do that. And I, and I don't want to use up my infinities without... Like, for no reason. So, anyway, 26 replicated galaxies here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, gonna use this challenge. Or gonna beat this challenge. And this means... Well, to do the next iteration of it, I need to... Do... Another round of infinity grinding. Yay! Well, anyway, here, here we go. I beat this attorney challenge, which means that I get a infinity dimension multiplier based on an unspent infinity points. So that is pretty nice. I think I'm just going to go back into my regular active build and try to grind eternity points. I could try to also go into other challenges like attorney challenge one, because now with this, I could do this or attorney challenge two. And actually, which, which is this? I could try attorney challenge two second time again. Even though I just failed it. But 
this reward, it's only in fin infinity dimension, so I don't really want to go for that. So, I think at this point, I'm just going to, let me do a round of attorney point grinding, and we'll see how much attorney points I can get. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.